Our new head baseball coach is no stranger to JU or to the city of Jacksonville. As we looked at the landscape of college baseball when the search began, we quickly realized that the best person for the position was already on campus. Chris is, an unbelievably, is unbelievably passionate about JU, about JU baseball, and most importantly, about our student athletes. Coach Hayes understands JU and loves JU just, as ma just about as much as anybody on the planet, maybe other than our president, Tim Koss. A quote from Chris very early on to me that I'll never forget was Alex, and it was simple. Alex, I will give absolutely everything I have to this program and to our student athletes. He wasn't talking about himself. He was talking about the program and the student athletes. Folks often talk like this. Chris absolutely means it. Much like John, Chris is a consummate professional and is someone of great character and has an extremely high baseball IQ. Chris is a local product, Inglewood High School grad, bachelor's degree, and master's degree from Jacksonville University. As a player, he was a four-year starter for the Dolphins and was drafted by, the major, my, by Major League Baseball twice before signing with the Toronto Blue Jays. He twice earned all Sunbelt Conference honors and was picked all regional as a junior. Hayes led the Dolphins to consecutive regional appearances in 94 and 95, and ranks among JU's all-time leaders in RBI, at-bats, hits, doubles, and total bases. He was head coach of Seminole State College in 2013, from 2008 to 2013, where he went to the state tournament in 13. 51 of his student athletes went on to play at four-year institutions, and 13 were drafted by the MLB. Chris is no stranger to the coaching ranks at JU. His first stint here as an assistant was from 03 to 08, and he's been the top assistant since 2013. At JU, he has mentored four All-Americans, two freshman All-Americans, 19 Atlantic Sun selections, all Atlantic Sun selections, 12 All A Sun freshman selections, three A Sun pitcher or player of the years. 19 Dolphins have signed Major League Baseball contracts. Without further ado, our new head baseball coach, Chris Hayes. Wow, this is a special moment, without a doubt. Um, John, welcome. I love your passion, I love your energy already. Um, I welcome your challenge. We're gonna make it very difficult for you, okay? Um, it is an honor to stand before you as the eighth head coach in Jacksonville University baseball history. Um, I'm overwhelmed, I'm humbled, I'm excited. I'm very thankful for the opportunity. I spent 12 years here in a Dolphin uniform, over a quarter of my life. Got my undergrad, got my graduate degree. Um, I'm truly a product of this university and what it is. This is home, and this is such a special opportunity for me and my family. I'm going to do, and I've heard, and he just said it, but I'm going to do everything within my power to make sure that this program is run properly, and our student athletes do everything they can to excel in every phase of their lives. Why JU? Why is it special? I got a feeling I know. JU is special because of the people, bottom line. It's a whole bunch of selfless people working together, overachieving to make this place great. JU has provided so much for me in my life 
I've grown up here. Jacksonville's home. I love this city and I love this university. For me, the journey began back in 1990 when Terry Alexander and Rusty Green, Keith Griffin and Doug Corbett felt I'd be a good fit in this university and a better fit in the baseball program. Unofficially, it began much earlier than that. I grew up going to JU basketball games. I grew up going to JU baseball games with my parents and my grandfather. My time spans here at JU over three decades, but my affinity for this university has lasted a lifetime. Before I go any further, I've got to thank a few people that have been very instrumental in this process for me. Um, and honestly, you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. I feel very, very honored and blessed to have the people around me and the support staff I have. President Cost, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for your mentorship. Thank you for your leadership. You inspire people to be great on a daily basis. And thank you for that. Alex, Dr. Horner, thank you for your mentorship and your friendship. Board of Trustees, thank you for your faith in me and in this program. Members of the Athletic Administration, specifically Marsha Haskew, Dave Faraday, Sally James, and Jim Nacella, thank you. Members of the faculty that are here, Dr. Kim Capriotti, Dr. Boylan, Dr. Jeff White, Thank you for your support of the athletic programs. Former coaches and dear friends of mine, Tim Montez and Les Wright, thank you for your friendship. To the teammates of mine and the alumni that are here, love you guys. Love you guys. All friends and supporters of the athletics, specifically the baseball program, we can't do it without you. We got to have more of you. Got to have your passion. You are centers of interest wherever you go. Talk to you. And finally, I have to thank Terry Alexander. He's the reason I'm here. Whew. I knew it would be hard. Now I've got to recognize a few people. Sorry about this, but I got to recognize some people. I'm thankful for them, but their lives are a little difficult because they have to put up with me. My wife, Joy, and their family. Thank you for walking through this journey with me. Thank you for allowing me to be me and pursue opportunities without reservation. To my parents, to my family, couldn't do it without you. Thank you. And one guy that's not here, my friend and my lead assistant, Chuck Geraldo. They say you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. I'm in pretty good shape because he's as good as there is in the industry. I appreciate his friendship and I appreciate his efforts in walking by my side through this. And lastly, everyone here, you're my friend. I know every single one of you, I think, for the most part. There are a few unfamiliar faces. <laughs> but I will get to know you soon, I promise. Thank you. Thank you for your friendship. A lifetime of memories. What do I stand for? I stand for student athlete welfare. Bottom line. The motivating factor in every decision that we're going to make within this program is how does it benefit or challenge our student athletes. I believe in development and I believe in opportunity. In 1991 as a player I came in and I had an opportunity to play immediately as a freshman. I had good days, I had plenty of bad ones. There were days I probably shouldn't have been on the field. But Terry Alexander and that coaching staff stuck by my side, allowed me to make those mistakes and grow and I developed. In 2003 as a coach, TA took a leap of faith, brought me on. I had very little coaching experience. All I had was a whole lot of raw knowledge of the game, a whole lot of want to, and a whole lot of passion for JU. Through his patience and through his mentorship 
I made plenty of mistakes. It wasn't easy. I'm sure I made his life a little difficult on days. Uh, but I developed. Our program, what will our program stand for? What will we do? We will provide great effort in every phase of our lives on a daily basis. We will define, teach, develop, reinforce winning characteristics on a daily basis. We will stay positive. We will not be outworked. We are process oriented. We will discuss goals. We will set goals, attainable and realistic. But we will not be consumed with the results. We'll stay dedicated to the process. And finally, we will recruit hard. It is the lifeblood of college athletics. We will start in Jacksonville. We will work to North Florida. We will cover and blanket the state of Florida. And then we will work in selected parts of the nation that makes sense for Jacksonville University and a demographic here. To my teammates and to the alumni, I promise to give it every effort that I have to run this program properly and to make you proud that you wore this uniform. <coughs> to do so, we need your help. This is a team effort to take this where we want to go, to where we know we can go. We need everybody together, and we need your support. To those of you that come to see us play, we will work hard. We will play hard. We'll play fast, prepared. We'll do all within our power to make our opponents extremely uncomfortable. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be energized. There will be passion. And it may not always be pretty, and it may not always be good. But the effort will always be there, and it will be entertaining. I am truly humbled and so appreciative of this opportunity. I will make mistakes, and I am not perfect. But my intentions will always be pure and will always have the student athletes, Jacksonville University and JU Baseball in mind. We will do great things, and we will do great things together. To quote my good friend Terry Alexander, good days are good. And today, today's a pretty good day. Thank you again for the time. Thank you again for your attention and all your support. Can't wait to get started. And at this point in time, I'd like to open it up for any questions. Covered it all. Awesome. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I don't have a question. What you got? I watched you play from that first day as a freshman. I don't remember those mistakes you're talking Good. <laughs> I remember all of them. It's my nature. Carry the throw, Hayes. Carry the throw. Chris, yes, sir. what's the biggest adjustment you'll have to make going from pitching coach to head coach? And actually, it was, I'm a position coach. Um, but I've got a, first, I've got to hire a pitching coach. Um, we're working on completing that staff right now. Um, for me, my biggest challenge is going to be delegation. I tend to take on a little too much sometimes. Um, I really don't think there's much I can't do. And um, if I do it, I'm going to be good at it. Actually, I'm going to be great at it. So that's going to be the biggest challenge for me is making sure that uh, and that's one thing I learned from Terry Alexander. Let your coaches coach. Allow them, you know, allow them to, to be who they are and let them do what they do. I just got to figure out what I can let them do. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Are you saying we can be the next Coastal Carolina? I'm not saying it's not a possibility. <laughs> yeah. With your help, absolutely. <laughs> yes, sir. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you, AJ. And uh, I just want to make sure we have a bunch of lefty pitchers on the staff. Yeah, we got to fill those guys up, man. Those guys are, they're like the unicorns. Okay. All right, we got to make sure everybody in the bookstore knows you're pitching. Okay.
I can say that. I know you. I've known you way too long. I'll explain that one. Yeah.